What's going on YouTube? Ferocity here. Hope you guys are doing well. I told myself I wasn't going to do this. I was going to try to be more positive on this channel. But this game, man, it just, it irritates me beyond belief. And I could go on a rant pretty much every day about skill-based matchmaking if I really want to. But I don't think I could do that for my sanity because there's so many other things to rant about with this game. There's so many things that don't make sense. So many design decisions that I just sit there and I say, this is Treyarch. This is the team that brought us Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, which not only changed up the formula, but revolutionized it and showed us that, hey, advanced movement can work in Call of Duty, but we don't always need it. Then they brought out Black Ops 4, which I'm still personally lukewarm about, but I get it. A lot of people liked it. The community overall thought that game was good. To bring us this just pile of incomplete trash. And that's the best thing to say about this game. It is incomplete. And at some point, this has to stop happening. And it hasn't happened with Call of Duty for a really long time. But World of World War II launched with what, 10 maps? This game launched with eight maps. What are we gonna get next? A game with six? I know I talked about it in a previous commentary this week, but the lack of content that Treyarch provided us and Activision is allowing us to have on day one is not a good thing for your game if you want it to survive, if you want people to make that initial investment. I heard stories that they didn't even put Black Ops Cold War on sale for Black Friday. Are you joking? Why not have the opportunity to introduce more people to this game? But why would you do that when you just are going to force people to pay full price for it? I, it doesn't make sense to me. They know this game is not going to make its investment back. That is my honest to goodness belief. And that's why we're seeing a lack of support already. Like, heck, on Tuesday, what did they release? A, a zombies update for the, the weapon XP instead of, you know, tuning the weapons that need to be tuned or fixing the massive problems that are just riddling your game stability? No, no, no. Let's fix the zombies issue. And that's it. That's it. That's all we're going to do. The one thing. It's very clear that Treyarch is preparing for Season 1 launch and they're going to provide us with this massive update. But like, it's four weeks too late, man. This game is a broken mess. It's not acceptable. It just simply isn't. And there's too many people that are sitting idly by, whether it's on subreddit, uh, on the Call of Duty subreddit, in YouTube comments are like, man, if you don't like the game, don't play it. Or it's not that bad you're just really bad at the game no that's not it that's not it at all and no i won't stop playing this game i won't stop asking for the game to be better because once we accept mediocrity you continue to get titles like what we have with black ops cold war and we're just supposed to be okay with that no i have a small platform to voice my opinion and i'm gonna voice it and it's very clear that the majority of the community is not happy with this game and the people that are echoing that the game is just fine and that we're just bad at it are in the minority. Okay, you're gonna go and tell Skump, Nadeshot, Clayster that they're bad at the game? Okay, I, I guess see what happens, like they'll, they'll mop the floor with you. But regardless of that, it, it's just so patronizing to my, like, it's almost belittling my intelligence to release this game in this state because like I, I honestly thought I was smarter than this I thought that I was smarter than to buy a game that was unfinished you know after what happened with destiny I was like you know what I'm not gonna buy a game that I don't believe is fully finished and honestly that was my rule for a while I didn't I, I played the uh, the anthem beta and talked about how not only was the game boring it was very clear that it was gonna lack content and knew that from day one. Then Black Ops Cold War comes out, and even before that, there was the, the leak saying, oh, there's only eight maps, and uh, it looks like there's not a lot of content. And in the back of my head, I was like, you know what, eight maps isn't that bad, especially if we're gonna get season one like a month later. Can't be that bad, right? No, 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 no. It's that bad. And if I could go back and tell past Ferocity not to go buy this game, I probably would. I probably would. Um, or at least not buy it twice. I just said buy it on the Xbox because the PC version literally won't work and the Xbox version will work like 50% of the time. So either 0% or 50%, but pick and choose your, your poison when it comes to that. But I, I'm just, I'm so frustrated 
right now with the state of this game and the state of this franchise and I, I just I just want it to be better. I'm just asking for it to be better and I just want the community to buy in for it to be better. And for us to do that, we have to not go out and spend our hard-earned money on Season 1 passes. We just, we, we don't do it. We don't, we do not buy the Battle Pass for Season 1. I think, I think that's the best thing to do is to boycott the Season 1 Battle Pass. Because if we do that, it might just send a message to Activision and Treyarch and say, we don't accept the fact that you legitimately gave us an incomplete game and made us wait a month to, to get the full game. You just wanted to release your game to, you know, clearly launch at the same time as the consoles, and that's all you were focused on. You just wanted your game to be out there when the consoles released. Well, the truth is, there's still a lot of people out there without their consoles that they pre-ordered or, or tried to buy, and you know what? There's gonna be a lot more people that have access to consoles by the time Season 1 rolls around. So it would have maybe benefited them more to postpone this to when Season 1 launches, especially if it could have fixed the stability issues, especially if it could have fixed all the bugs and glitches, especially if they could have added more content on day one. I'm just at the point now where I'm not buying the next Call of Duty, especially on launch, because of the lack of content that they deliver. This is not okay. Eight maps, it's like releasing Guitar Hero and being like, Okay, so season one, we're gonna we're gonna give you guys ten songs. That's it, ten songs. You guys will have mastered, and then we'll release five new songs every month for the entire year. That would be a dead game pretty quick. And Call of Duty fans, because the franchise is so big, we forgive these lack of content so much because we just want to fall in love with the game. We want to reminisce on what we used to love. And the truth is, this isn't the Call of Duty we used to know. This isn't the, the Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 2 era. It's not those four years of glorious Call of Duties. It's this new era of Call of Duty where it's not about creating good games. It's not about trying to polish and dominate the FPS space. It's just about using your name recognition to make as much money as possible and turn out as much profit as possible by putting in as a level of effort as possible. And I'm not here for it, and I'm not gonna support it. And honestly, I ask you not to support it as well. Do not, do not support this game. Do not support its DLC. Play it for free, enjoy the free content you get, but don't pay for anything more than your initial investment. Until they make the game better, until they put in more content, do not invest any money in this game. And that's all I have to say today. So I thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.